Well everyone, it's time for us to talk about the Nintendo Switch OLED model and see how it's been holding up for about 9-10 months since it's been out, at least for the year of 2022, and looking at the future of the Nintendo Switch lineup and seeing what's going to be happening. Now, I've personally been using my Nintendo Switch a ton for the last, I would say, year. I think I've been using my Switch a lot more the last year than ever before, mostly because I have this third channel now that I talk a lot more about gaming videos and gaming related content. But with the Nintendo Switch OLED, I think this was probably one of the smartest things Nintendo has ever done. And I saw a lot of people kind of look at this console and they were confused as to why Nintendo made it. Why did they make an OLED model? Why didn't they just give us the next generation of the Nintendo Switch? But you have to remember there's been two times, actually there's been probably many times, but there's been two notable times for the last 20 or so years where Nintendo really tried to kind of push out the next generation of console, maybe a little bit too early, maybe they didn't market it too well, and or maybe they didn't take advantage of all the previous generation's power and all the previous generation's hype, and they kind of flopped the next release. For example, the Nintendo GameCube, that didn't really sell too well. I think that was a tremendous console, but there were some reasons why it didn't sell too well compared to the other consoles at that time. And then we, I mean, more recently, about 10 years ago with the Nintendo Wii U, and that was a console, in my opinion, that was also pretty good. I mean, that was a really decent console. It's just a different concept. I wasn't a fan of the separate screen and all that other stuff with the gamepad. However, it was a really big upgrade, in my opinion, from the Nintendo Wii. I mean, that was way more powerful. It had a lot more features built in. It was also backwards compatible with Nintendo Wii games, but it just seemed like Nintendo didn't take advantage of maybe even all the hype of the Nintendo Wii, which that's not completely true. It just didn't really seem like they marketed that well for the Nintendo Wii U, and everyone has done case studies on the Wii U, and I think with the Nintendo Switch, Nintendo has to really kind of, you know, draw out and just kind of drag out the release of this console as often as they can, and that's why they made the original Nintendo Switch, that's why they made the Switch Lite, and now that's why they made the Nintendo Switch OLED model, and when that next generation of Nintendo Switch comes out, I have a feeling they're con going to continue to sell the Nintendo Switch OLED model and the Nintendo Switch Lite, and then we're going to have that Nintendo Pro or whatever they're going to call it, and that is going to be at that next level. So that's kind of what I see the future of this Nintendo console, and a little bit of why they made the Nintendo Switch OLED is because they don't want to make the next generation console yet, because these consoles are still selling like crazy. And when you look at actually recently, I think Nintendo, like the first time since the Nintendo Switch was released, they saw a decline in sales or something like that, and that just happened. That, that console came out five years ago, and the technology within this console is still five years old or even more than five years old. I think it has a 2014 chipset inside of it or something. So the outside is the only thing that's changed. But I will tell you with the Switch OLED, I actually think this was a really big upgrade coming from the Switch Lite and or the original Nintendo Switch. Now, first of all, with the body, personally, I think this body is really good. I mean, it really hasn't changed from the previous generation of console. The screen is the only thing that's changed here. We're now getting a 7-inch OLED display on this specific console. Now, it's not a super crazy high resolution. It doesn't have, you know, the most bezel design ever, but it still looks very good. And whenever I looked at the OLED switch and I looked at the, you know, standard Nintendo switch that I think has like an LCD or IPS panel on it, this console's panel is so much better. It's not even funny. The colors look crisp. Everything looks beautiful about it. And I always forget to myself that this isn't uh, like a 1440p panel at 120 hertz. That's how big of an upgrade this is. If you go from like a, a standard OLED panel to another OLED panel, I don't think it's really that big of a difference. But when you go from the, an LCD panel of the Nintendo Switch or that type of display to this one, it's phenomenal. And I will say this display is one of its biggest advantages for sure. Now you still have the Joy-Cons of this thing, which still look great. You have the standard, you know, USB type C port at the bottom, which doubles as, you know, the ability of docking this thing up too, which is really cool. And on the back, you have that little switch out dock. So you can go ahead and, you know, kick out that kickstand to be able to use it there too, which is really cool. And it has a lot more adjusting capability in it as well. So I found that really, really cool. But another big thing that I think some people actually forgot about was actually with the upgrade within the dock. So the dock now has the capability of plugging in an ethernet port if you will want to use an ethernet port within it. And I think that was actually really cool. They missed that on the original Nintendo Switch, but they did end up bringing that back out with this Nintendo Switch. So I found that really cool. They also included and increased the internal storage to 64 gigabytes, which I think again is probably what they should have added in the first place. But I found that to be really cool. And they also upgraded the enhanced audio in it as well. So I found that to be really cool as well. Now that kind of covers up everything that kind of changed. Now since this thing has originally came out, this thing has been available all over the place. I've been able to pick these things up fairly easily. And I think a lot of people have been able to recently pick up a Nintendo Switch. They're not really 
really being sold out as crazy as they used to. There still can be some cases like that. But for the most part, a lot of people are still able to you know, buy these consoles, which is really good. And even though I will definitely tell you, the hype between a Nintendo Switch OLED isn't as crazy as maybe a Switch Lite or the original Nintendo Switch, it's still really cool that Nintendo made a console like this at least to kind of hold people over. I think one of the biggest things when they made or when are, when they dropped the next Nintendo Switch is that they want that next console to last a very long time, probably even longer than this Nintendo Switch, you know, the original Nintendo Switch, but also one of the higher ups of Nintendo recently stated, I think about six, seven months ago, stating that that the Nintendo Switch's lifespan is about halfway done. Now that doesn't mean we're you know going to wait another five years for Nintendo to make a console, but they're going to wait until the Nintendo Switch sales start diminishing like crazy, and then they're going to go ahead and create that next console. Now I will also say the gaming library of this Nintendo Switch is still really good. I, th I think Nintendo did a tremendous job with this console, but the problem that I could see potentially with something like the Switch OLED is that maybe people will go ahead and buy this console. I mean it's a three hundred fifty dollar console. It's definitely not cheap. Some people may end up buying this console and maybe, just maybe, the next two years we're probably going to get the next Nintendo Switch and then some people will feel like, oh man, like I feel like I missed out the next console so much better. But I'll definitely tell you, I don't even think that's going to be that big of a problem because this console still has a huge future ahead of it. Personally, I think when we look at the Nintendo Wii and Wii U, there were a lot of games that overlapped. When you looked at the Wii U and original Nintendo Switch, there were a few games that overlapped as well. One notable one is you know Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now when we look at and with the Wii and Wii U it was you know Super Mario Galaxy 2. When I look at the Nintendo Switch OLED and I look at the next iteration of Nintendo Switch there's a few games that come out to me that may be supported on this console as well and those specific games are like Mario Kart 9. We could be potentially be getting Super Mario Odyssey 2 and we could be getting Breath of the Wild 2 which is supposed to be announced at some point and so it's be released. It's been announced for a while. Now with because of the Breath of the Wild 2 I think that's going to be coming out for this console for sure. Mario Kart 9 or whatever the next one's called that may come out for this console too and super mario odyssey 2 and some other you know second generation games may be coming out for this console as well again i'm not 100 percent too sure but if you're common you know if you're thinking to yourself that you know i'm gonna wait until the next nintendo switch i don't think that's a bad idea i mean if you have, if you feel like waiting then go ahead and wait it's always better to wait than you know just jump on something now but if you are feeling like you're missing out if you currently own a nintendo switch the original or the light i would not go to the oled i don't really think it's worth going up to that point i would recommend saving your money for the next nintendo switch the big one that comes out but if you currently don't have either one of these the nintendo switch OLED one is so good. It is a humongous, you know, it is probably the perfect Nintendo Switch you can buy right now. I can't really find anything to complain about it that I didn't already complain about the original Nintendo Switch. Things like Joy-Cons and the Joy-Con Drift. Things like maybe the battery life not being as crazy good. Sometimes the fans kicking on too much when they really even shouldn't be. And maybe like the internal storage could be a little bit bigger. But other than that, I think the Nintendo Switch OLED is still very good. And it's easily still one of the best consoles you can buy for sure. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.